Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one-week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. We are going to be using, or I am going to be using, the Witch's Tarot. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Aries? All right, Aries. So the first thing I see, this this energy that is around you, I feel like this is someone from your past. Now, I feel like with this person, I feel like you had a really strong connection with this person. But I feel like in the beginning with this person, you know, I, I, I do feel like this, there's a bit of a player energy when you first met this person. You know, a little bit cockiness. You know, just kind of obviously that type of person, the type of person that really isn't ready to commit, you know, isn't looking for that at least. Now with this person, I feel like we started to grow closer and closer with this person. And I feel like it got to a point, you know, everything was good. I mean, everything was, you know, we had a good connection. I mean, it was really deep, it was fun, it was, it was spontaneous. But along the way, something, something changed. This person got very defensive. You know, with that Nine of Wands, very defensive energy. Almost like, almost like standing in the way of this moving forward. It got, you know, I, I feel like they got cold. I feel like there was a lot of arguing. A lot of chaotic energy, at least, with that tower. You know, I feel like they went they went cold on you. And I feel like the hot and cold never really stopped until it got cold. You know, I feel like they started feeling more and more cold and it just got worse. And I feel like eventually there was just too much distance. Now, with this person in the past, I feel like... The, you know, I feel like they were looking at the negatives instead of the positives. I feel like this person was of that player energy. I feel like they weren't ready, they weren't looking for anything. They certainly weren't expecting it. But with you, they felt something. And they felt something real. They felt what you felt. You have that lover's card. It was a deep connection. But with this person, it was almost like that's when they started going cold. Is because they couldn't help themselves. You know, I, I feel like they, they, they didn't... They didn't want to need anybody and they they wanted you and they needed you. And I feel like that was something that they didn't want. You know, and, and I feel like in, in part, I feel like they were trying to prove something to themselves as well. You know, they were pushing you away. They were self-sabotaging this, this, this relationship because they weren't ready to step up. You know? They didn't want to need anybody else. And that's that's one thing about people with that player energy. You know, they're not looking for a commitment because they can't handle it. Most times. Sometimes they just want to have fun. But most times people that 
are, are the most non-committal are the people that really want it the most, but they just can't even admit it to even themselves. Now, moving forward into now is I, f I feel like this person, they thought they could, but they couldn't. They couldn't get over you. They've never gotten over you. You know, they still think about you all the time. And that Eight of Cups, they haven't walked away from this. They thought they could. You know, they thought... They thought a lot of things. <laughs> but how, as it sits, I mean, this is their biggest regret. You know, they've never felt that way. And I feel like they try to, they, they try to get over you. They tried to let you go and they just couldn't. This person didn't want to need anybody. And in almost, in almost some kind of twisted way, they thought that needing someone made them weak, but the weakness they feel without you, I feel like that's the real struggle now. Now I feel like this person has gone through a lot of changes. You know, I, I feel like, I feel like when, when someone, you know, even those players out there that are just looking for one night stands and just looking, you know, to have fun and that's it and no commitment, you know, I feel like when they meet the right person, that's exactly what happens. It changes everything. I mean, you can prolong the change, but it's happening. And like I said, this person hasn't been able to get over you. They haven't been able to stop thinking about you. You are their biggest regret. They spend a lot of times in what ifs. And I and I feel like all this contributed to the, a lot of changes in this person. Like I said, they're living with that regret. You know, they're not happy. Now, I do feel like this person, you know, is out of balance right now and has been for a while. And the only, the only way for them to truly find balance is I feel like they, they need to open communication with you. And I feel like that's what they're going to do. You know, I do see them coming back. I do see opening communication. Now, in the beginning with this, I feel like they're, they're coming back in more of a friendly vibe. Because I, I feel like they're not really... They want to come back, but they're not really willing to swallow their pride and, and make it obvious. So I do feel like they're going to try to get back... And try to make it seem like they just want to be friends. But in all reality, they have much more planned. You know, it's almost like... It is almost like they, they're, they're going to want to make it seem like it's your idea. I mean, they do want... They want to make their presence known, but they want to be chased a little bit. You know, so they can save face. Because they know they screwed up. You know they screwed up. I mean, they don't want to have to say it. But what I do see, this person, like I said, they do want to be with you. And I feel like that's as blunt as I can possibly be. I mean, they're, they're going to come back and, and just make it seem like they just want to be friends. But it's going to evolve very quickly. You know, because in the back of their mind, they want to be with you. Now, I feel like, like I said, some of the changes that had happened to this person is I feel like one of the biggest things is I feel like they are going to be honest with you. Like I said, with that Queen of Swords, I feel like you know, before they were trying to hide it. They were trying to hide their feelings. It's almost like they didn't want them. We can't change who we love. We can only change how we react. And I feel like they react poorly. Like I said, they're ready to face their fears. You know, their fear of commitment comes because I feel like, you know, they're facing their fears and I feel like they're, you know, there is a lot of emotional fulfillment coming. Um, we also have the family card as well. And the chariot. That cancer energy. You know, I, I feel like they will be loyal now that they know what they could lose. But like I said, I, I, I feel like... I feel like before they couldn't be honest with you because they couldn't be honest with themselves. Not so much I feel like there was lies or whatever, but I just feel like... They were holding a lot of it in, and, and, and it's just going to feel good to get it all out. 
You know, a lot of people that are in that player energy and people that just, you know, don't want to commit and have that fear of commitment is, isn't because they're afraid of committing to someone. It's afraid that that person won't commit to them. You know, sometimes it is a fear of committing to people, but most times from most people that I know and I've met uh, throughout my life and, and people, I, I you know, I've done readings for and just in general, from my perspective, I feel like most people that are non-committal is because they're afraid that somebody won't commit to them. They're afraid of committing and not, you know, being reciprocated. Now with this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have some Taurus, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I mean, I. As for the connection, though, I feel like, like I said, I feel like this is a very. You guys had a very strong connection, and I feel like this is just this, you know, definitely some t soulmate, some twin flame type energy. Um. You know, it, I feel like it never felt like it was really over because of the fact that, like I said, that I feel like it went cold, but I feel like it never really felt like it was over and it's because it was never over. You know, there was no, there was a middle and there was a, be a beginning, but the, there hadn't been an end and there still is an end. You know, I, uh, makes me sad to think that there's so many people out there, um, you know, that, you know, for instance, uh, a friend of mine, I, I remember he always had this crush on this girl, but he never, and it's not really relevant, but it, it, it kind of is. He always had this crush on this girl and it was for years he had crush on this girl. He, you know, he, he thought about her, he mentioned her, he dated girls that look like her, but he never made the move. And I, I remember asking him why he never did. And he said, because if I don't ask, she can't tell me no. And I always thought that was weird to me because he was the most confident person. Like he could go out and, you know, he could go out anywhere and meet people. You know, he could go to the bar and he'd talk to every pretty girl there. Like if you said he wouldn't talk to somebody, he'd go do it. But with her, he couldn't talk to her. And it's funny how much, you know, really loving someone changes you know, it's, it's, it, it changes you. And some people, some people aren't ready for the change. Some people don't understand the change. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.